everybody, it's Ryan Oakley from WeddingPhotographyGig.com and this is step 5 of the Pro Photography website tutorial powered by SmugMug. And in this step we are going to be creating the portfolio gallery. And we are going to be creating that portfolio gallery from the existing photos that we've already uploaded to our photography website. So right now we are looking at our site and we are in the visitor view. We want to go ahead and click on the owner view to go in and see uh, what our site's looking at like right now. And to create our portfolio gallery, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hit the upload and we're going to create a new gallery and give it a gallery name. We're going to call it Portfolio. Perfect. Under category, this really doesn't matter, but we might as well throw it into the weddings category. Subcategory doesn't matter. Theme doesn't matter. Well, theme default is good. And for the quick settings, we're going to select client settings right here. Go ahead and click save. Okay, so this is our typical upload screen and we are not going to be uploading files here and create duplicates on our SmugMug site. What we're going to do is uh, use SmugMug's collection tool feature, which is uh, sneaky awesome. So go ahead and say you're done uploading and go back to your home. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, each wedding uh, gallery that we've got, client gallery that we've got. So what we're going to do now is hunt for our favorite photos and the photos that we want to show off in our portfolio gallery. So to do that, um, we are going to just find these photos. Let's say this one I like. And what we're going to do is hover over the big image, press on this plus sign with a yellow circle, and that's the collect photo and it says display a virtual copy in the following gallery. Well we just picked or uh, just created our portfolio gallery so go ahead and select that and while we're in this gallery just uh, just hit this selection button here that says don't display this window as I collect more from this gallery so click on that click photo so now keep uh, keep going and uh, all the photos that you want in your portfolio you just keep selecting that uh, that button. So I'll do it one more time. Let's find one here. I like this one. So get, go ahead and press that plus sign, and a virtual copy will be um, will be put into your portfolio gallery. So go ahead and uh, go through your photos. Um, make sure you go through each um, client gallery because you want to have a good mix. You don't want a portfolio that's got uh, just photos from one wedding so you want to make sure that you go through and uh, and select different photos and every time you come into um, a different gallery and click on the plus sign it's going to give you the same option to, to choose where you want it to go and uh, and then just keep saying don't display this window as I collect more photos so keep collecting and then uh, when you're all done we'll go have a look at that portfolio gallery we've just created and uh, what we're going to do with it from there. Okay, so we're back to our home page now and you can see we've got a portfolio gallery and if we go ahead and click on that it'll take us to this portfolio and here are the images that we collected from the other galleries. Now it's important to note here that the um, because we copy these from other existing galleries these photos take on the settings and the especially the uh, prices that you would set from the original gallery. So it's something to to keep in mind that um, the prices that we set in the original galleries will be maintained in this essentially this virtual gallery. Perfect. So now what we want to do is is uh, link to this portfolio gallery in our navigation bar here. So let's go ahead and go back home. We're going to go into tools or easy customizer and if you remember where we uh, 
we work on the navigation bar is under header and then down here navigation bar builder I want my portfolio to come to be the second link after home so I'm going to click the plus sign right here to create a new link area I'm going to call it portfolio and it is going to be um, it's going to point to a specific gallery which is the portfolio gallery and there's the URL right there so that's perfect go OK there and you'll see it popped up and we can go publish OK there it is we go back to our home page you'll see that portfolio is right there so if someone clicks on that link they're taken to a portfolio page so that's perfect that's it for this step in the next step we will be um, creating the home page slideshow and uh, using this same portfolio gallery so we'll see you in the next video